Hey, it's the I have massive chap lips kusk and I filmed something outside but it deleted so we're going to be talking about CKY, hate breed, lag wagon, bad religion, guar, bear tooth, black field brides, and then we're gonna be talking about some five epitaph bands, five fat records bands, maybe some dance Gavin dance, some New Year's Day, some Immure, some Hour Last Night, some TSOL. You know what I'm going to be talking about, sweetheart. We're going to be talking about Warped Tour 2017 leaks and my predictions, not my mid-drift, but let's do this, okay? All right, so basically um, a speculation list and like uh, by some person on Twitter and like Warped Tour leaks happened. And do I think they're true? I think Bad Religion is, will play a couple dates if it's true. <laughs> like, that's all I have to say. And speaking of fat, like, fat records bands, um, I don't think, um, uh, what's it not? Um, Ma Mass Intruder and Teenage Ball Rocket, they're not gonna, they're totally not gonna play every date because they are going to a Canadian music festival around June 22nd to June 24th. I don't know which date it is, but it's around that time. I'm pretty sure it's June 22nd. I could be very wrong. I know they're playing that with Bad Religion, so that's why I don't think they're gonna play the whole entire Warped Tour, so they may play a couple dates. Um, I hope, it, and like speaking, but I do think that's actually true because Guar said it would be like the worst, their weirdest date, like weirdest year touring and their usual festival at, like or concert that's like annual is canceled. Who knows, man. But yeah, speaking of that, uh, I hope that the leaks are true and like the speculation list because Dance Gavin Dance is on the speculation list and if they go, I'm going. They're gonna be the main reason I'm there. Um, that's just truth for you. Who do I think is going to play? Other than what is speculated, I think Our Last Night's gonna definitely be playing with Pal- and also I think Palisades and Being As An Ocean is too. I had a feeling about Being As An Ocean, but I never, didn't write them down for my original video on this um, because they never really talked about new 2017 music, but guess what? They did a couple days ago around then. I don't know, they did mention new music around, like, sometime around, like, this month at least. I'm not sure the exact date. I'm sorry that I don't pay attention to details that often. I just, like, went on their Twitter a couple days ago and found it. So, yeah, that's my, that's what I think. So, you know, Teenage Ball Rocket and, um, NASA Tutor, I don't think they're going to be one of the, well, one of the five Fat Records bands. I think the Bomb Pops are gonna definitely be one of the five out of the Fat Records bands though because they released a new album. I'm seeing a lot of people post their nice pressings of it. I don't, I haven't listened to their music so please do not judge me if you want to send me some Bomb Pops recommendations in the comments you can. I will listen to them. But other than that, you know, usually I don't know every single band on the Warped Tour lineup so Please bear with me. <laughs> um, and also, I don't know every band in the world, so please bear with me, okay? Um, maybe the Menzingers, but I'm not sure if that's their style. Again, another band I've never really heard of. I, only, I heard of a name, but I just haven't listened to their music. Maybe I should get on that. So. I know they toured with Nothing More. I think they did. I wanted to see Nothing More. I, almost, I think I almost saw the Menzingers. Because I just really love Nothing More and I just never got to see Nothing More. But it's okay, dude. It's, it's okay. Um, I think Joyce Manor might be the weird indie band. Or Microwave. Because everyone just loves Microwave. Um, but maybe Joyce Manor? Who knows? I think Joyce Manor is a little too big for Warp Tour. But, you know, maybe they'll get everyone in so it'll just be like a bunch of old school punks reminiscing and a bunch of people who enjoy garage music. You know, that would be an interesting mix. Like, usually it's the Blackville Brides fans and the non-Blackville Brides fans, but you know, the, the, this dynamic's much more interesting than that. I mean, anything can happen in 2017, dude. Um, let's see what else. I think Water Parks and Lake Pacific's gonna come back from last year. Um, why do I think that? I don't know. I think Lake Pacific's gonna get on a bigger stage, though, and Water Parks is gonna play main stage. And that's gonna be fun. Speaking of um, 
Water Parks, I think Creeper's also going to play. They're touring with them right now. That'd be so lit if they played. Like, Creeper is also a little too big for Warp Tour, but honestly, it'd be still pretty great. I mean, come on. <laughs> Um, I, think, I think this is more of a hopeful list than me actually predicting stuff, okay? Um, let's see, as not, not as it is, I do not think as it is is gonna play anymore because it'll just like go home to the UK for a month and then come back here and be like, oh, why is my nose itchy? I promise I'm not slurring at you, it's just my nose is very itchy, okay? Oh boy, yep, this is fun, this is so attractive. But yeah, <laughs> um, as it is, I don't think they're gonna play anymore, like, play, not play anymore, but not, like, play on war Tour. I think they're gonna go home and not come back to the U.S. in a month, okay? Because they do have a North American tour, like I thought they were. I was, I wish I could go on their North, like, go to a date on their North American tour, but I can't because I'm seeing the main, and the main's pretty cool, so I'm really not complaining here. I do love Rome, but I also love the main, so it's okay. Let's see what else. Um, Mallory Knox. Like, I have a feeling Mallory Knox. I don't know if they're releasing new stuff or not, but... You know, UK pop punk. That's what we're talking about in this video, okay? Let's see who else. Um, hmm. Forgot who, oh yeah, Chase Hutland. I think that's how you pronounce his name. H-U-G-L-I-N. I hope he's an acoustic act at Warped. Like, I heard, like, his album recently from, because of another Warped Tour prediction list and dude, or, like, bands I want to play Warped Tour list, and I'm like, dude, like, I can get into this guy. Like, I do love Buttons, too. Like, I, when Buttons was a thing, like, I don't know if he still makes music, but, you know, Buttons was legit. <laughs> It's actually really sweet too. Like, yeah, I'm just reminiscing on Buttons now. Never got to see him in the acoustic tent, but I saw him play with Courage My Love and... Good act. Good man, good acts, good music, you know? We all need that acoustic act, you know? Actually, usually when Say We Can Fly plays Warp Tour, they he always skips Massachusetts. Oh my god, is there someone at my door? So I just got a package. Anyway, so just got a package and I was talking about Chase Hutland and buttons and say we can yeah, say we can fly. Like I just never got to see Say We Can Fly on Warp Tour. Cause like, uh, I guess like last year, I think he like skipped a couple dates and like Massachusetts World was one of them or that was like in 2015. Like I got some bad memory, <laughs> you know, Curse my love if they played too, that'd be lit, like lit, but I scared both the twins. So I'm sorry, Courage my love for that. Um, who else? Hmm. I don't know, man. That's all I can think of right now. So yeah, if you have any predictions or hopefuls or whatever for Warp Tour 2017, comment down below. I also think 68. I don't know if I mentioned 68. Like I have a weird feeling about 68. Like it's like along with being as an ocean in a mirror. Like I don't know why, but I do. Anyways, I'm gonna go now and I hope you have a good day I'm gonna open up some packages and hope they're legit packages and peace out. The truck's still outside my house. What's going on here? I don't know, but peace out.